Hi everyone, I recently had the question on how to get to the uh, properties of a person in a people control inside a repeating section. So the first thing you need to do is set up a form in your start event and then put a repeating section on and then a people control inside it. So it's pretty straightforward. So we'll call this um, group of people. No, that'll be too confusing. Let's say it's tasks or um, what should we call that? Um, rows. We'll just call it rows for the moment. That'll make it simple. So it's just rows of data and it's got a people control. And we'll call this uh, task owner. And we might just put a bit of styling on there, put a divider line and call this uh, rows. So now you can see I've got repeating section with the uh, people control inside it. So when you come to a repeating section like this, you can see this is a row and then I add another row and another row. And what the repeating, what the uh, work plan needs to do is to go through each row. It needs to iterate. So if you wanted to send an email to each of these people here, you need to iterate through each row and find the person. However, the people control is also a collection. So you need to loop for each row and then loop through each of the people in here. So if I come through here and uh, put you in here, this is a single. And if I put Josh, there's only ever one person in there. Uh, however, if I Turn that on to multiple, so multiple selections, go to preview. I can have multiple, and that is now a collection. Now, the trick here is um, it doesn't matter if I had single or multiple, it's still going to pass a collection regardless. So we always need to loop through the rows and then loop through the people. Okay, so let's do some heavy lifting up with our workflow. So what you'll notice when you come from the form to the workflow designer is you've got your start event and form variables are the data that came from the form. So we've got rows, which is our repeating section, which is a collection. Then you've got your task owner, which is a collection of people, single, multiple, it's always a collection. And then they've got the properties you want to access. But really these are, um, these are a collection within a collection and then some objects. So first thing we need to do is loop through each row first. So we put a loop for each in and we're going to call this um, in repeating section. And what we need to do is tell it what target collection we're going to. So you go to insert, uh, start event, form variables, rows, which is putting our repeating section in there basically. Now it's going to loop through each of the rows and the next thing we need to do is loop through um, each person in the people control. So again, loop for each. Now it's a little bit different this time. You wouldn't go to start event, form variables, rows, task owner, because it is a collection of collections. So what you actually want is the output of the loop for each. So what we've got here is it's really telling us as I'm looping through each of the rows, give me the current row you've got and let me select the current people picker, which again is a collection. So then we insert the people control into the loop for each. Now we've got the second loop done. Now what we're dealing with is a object. So we'll come down to here. So the output of this, let's say I wanted to send the person that's in the people picker in, in all of the rows or each row, uh, an, email address, an email. So I need their email address. So I go to insert and then you come back to loop for each because that's where your outputs of your loops are. And I didn't rename the second loop. So let's go back and just make this a bit easier to read. Loop for each in people control. Okay, come back to here and go insert. So loop for each. Oh, did I change its name? It would be me being silly. Uh, in people control. There we go. Okay. Send an email, click insert and loop for each. And now you'll see loop for each in people control or loop for each in repeating section. Now we actually need to go to the to the people control because that's where we're, we're really interested. We go to the current item, which is the current person that's found. So if you had five people in the people control, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then finally, all these properties are showing up. So they're no longer a collection of collections of objects. It's now the current one it's found of people inside the current row. So we can actually access these properties. So now we can press insert and we can send an email. So that's how it works. I mean, this, this action hasn't is, is still unconfigured because I'm not going to set up the full email control right now, but hope that makes sense that you first need to um, loop through your repeating section rows, then loop through the people in your people, uh, people control, and then you can get to the properties in the email. So I hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.